I got trainers walking past me. But hey guys, it's me, a little Surfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We got our team trained up a little bit with the candies, so. So move it, aren't you, bitch? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. I nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Fetch. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. Maybe? I mean, that would determine if I move on in the next lock. Uh, yeah, I trained up my team with the candies that I had. And they're all about level 26, which is one level under Kabu. Wait, Hop, what are you doing here? You were just outside. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. If you're here to challenge our gym, I'll we'll ask you to change into your uniform first. Sweet, we're ready! So I wonder if anyone's ever, like, attempted to shiny hunt in Kabu's gym, because you can encounter Pokemon here. I wonder if anyone's ever attempted to shiny hunt in his gym. The gym mission for the fire gym is this, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in Tall Grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start! Okay, so I wanna see if I can't... <sighs> yes, 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 first encounter. Okay, I wanted this one as my first encounter. Ooh, okay, never mind. We just ran into something. Alright, well... First off, we're gonna get slanted off the field. Oh, come on. Get slanted off the field. Goodbye. Ow. That hurts. Do I not have net balls? Oh, I do. Okay. I was like, do I have them? Yeah. First encounter. Now we just gotta kill the rest of them. Sizzlepeds. Okay, I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you Rocky. Or. I'm gonna name you. Fiona. I'm not going to use you right now. Yay! Oh, I could have gotten Litwick. That would have been cool. That would have been a cool capture. Yeah, but I already made my choice. I like Sizzlepeed. So, there's only three patches of bricks. Am I gonna have to... I'm gonna have to capture Vulpix. 
or else I'm gonna lose. So I'll capture Vulpix, this won't count as a Pokemon in the Nuzlocke, but I have to capture it. Fun fact, if you just sit here, and if you throw out a shiny Pokemon, if you just sit here, it won't do the sparkles unless you click the text. So it's a way you can... Alright, um... I need to heal. It's a way you can, like, prevent the sparkles from happening. Until... You can record it or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's got Steam Engine, and for the life of me, I cannot remember what Steam Engine does. No! Yes, just do more damage to Vulpix. And I'll sit here and capture it. Thank you. Yeah! So Vulpix is not off the table for encounters. Clearing later Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Yeah, so Vulpix is not off the table. It just sucks that I had to catch it. Oh, wow. This is gonna suck. It's time for the final of the first three gyms. Hello. Here we go! like how I'm walking, he's doing a little jog. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo and Nessa. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Whoa, look at the designs on the ground! You are challenged by Gym Leader Kabu! Okay, this is going to be a terrifying battle. Sweet, Ness leveled up. I also got a shiny stone in between episodes, so... Oh shoot, he's got Intimidate. That's going to make my attack do less. No! Oh, I still kill though. Oh, it was a crit! Everyone's leveling up today. Except for Eileen. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There still must be a path to victory. Sent to Scorch!
it's time. Max Geyser! Go! We're gonna see our first ever Gigantamax form. Burn bright, sent to scorch, let Gigantamax change your size and your form. Oh, yeah! Look at him, he looks so amazing. Also, he's really tiny, too, I think. Super effective, and it's raining! Uh-oh, that just lowers my special attack, doesn't it? Oh, that hurts! Oh, that hurt. It is bug type, so it does make sense that that did a lot of damage. But yeah, this should be a kill. Good job, Barrascuta! Great Pokemon and a great trainer, it's no surprise that you won. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I now, I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. I'm gonna give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Fire badge! I can catch Pokemon to level 35! Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. I just love how we awkwardly shake hands while I'm reading this text. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. The adults will be the pillars for you to build on. I like how his gym crest, or whatever you want to call that, looks like Cinescorch. Bitch! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Barrascuta would be the ones, but still! That match had me right on the edge of my seat. Challenger Fetch. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've done. Huh, I've burned them. And take one of our uniforms. No. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Though the badges we burned ourselves, I reckon we should be able we should be alright against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Ooh, we get a ton of encounters today. Let's go! Hurry up, bitch! Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Well, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see any trainers who are able to defeat me. 
Phew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Fetch, Huck, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges were able to get a gym patch from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chat chant. Hustle, 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 Huck. You can do it. You can do it, Fetch. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Come on, Fetch. Let's head for Hammerlock. And we're back into the wild area. One of the places that I... The place that I spent three hours on when this game first came out. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to, to you even stronger than before. Fetch, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we'll be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in my tale, in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hopier can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! Not like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. I thought those are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion in the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll bow you over there. Maybe that'll help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenge Fetch to battle and gal are mine. <coughs> Sorry. I, I know you challenge Fetch. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. <coughs> I know you challenged Fetch to battle in Galar Mine number two and lost to her there. And I'm her greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Fetch and the champion and whatnot. Do you have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. See you later, Fetch. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Alright. time. Ooh, Garboder. How you doing? So I can't quite reach the water yet. Okay, so we're gonna go through here and we're gonna start looking at some pretty good encounters. Motostoke Riverbank. I am afraid to touch that Snorlax. Oh, what the heck is chasing after me? Ooh, a purloin. Cutie fly. Coughing sucks. Oh, I almost just ran right into that thing. Yeah, let's be careful, because uh, this bike is pretty crazy. I might just um, go with a random encounter, because none of these are looking appealing to me. Come on, Kettler. How you doing, buddy? Let me just go with the random encounter. Oh, well, that one's too... Get away from the coughing. There you go. Double! Uh, okay, 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 Let's, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good at all. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, didn't even have to hurt him. Okay, um, I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you. Flynn. Like the character from Tangled. Now let's get out of here before I die. We had a Wilmer. I mean, no, we couldn't have had a Wilmer. I might end up like skipping a couple of these areas because I don't know how overleveled these Pokemon are compared to where I'm at. Bridgefield. Ooh. I could get Glycopod back. That would be cool. I could get- oh my gosh, that thing moves fast. I could get Glycopod back. No, no. Gotcha. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Well, our encounter's cutie fly. Um, shoot! Oh, that sucks! That's what I get. That's what I get for going. For the cool, strong looking ones. That's so stupid. I was Togepi. Togetic. I wanted to evolve that thing so I can get it out of here. Okay, I need to. I need to. I need to. Whoa. Okay, screw that. Screw that. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. I'm not catching any more encounters. Screw that. We're, we're done with encounters for right now. Okay, we're out of here. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Bridgefield, you're done. Just get somewhere safe. Oh, I'm so mad. I need to release you. Actually, no. I'll move you to box seven just so I know that you're not a Pokemon I can use. But I did 
also not catch you, so I can catch another one of you. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, at least I can get you back and get you on the team, Fiona, but man, that's sad. That was scary. And I learned that we are not ready to capture Pokemon here, so let's just not do that. We lost our Bridgefield encounter because this game is scary. Oh no, 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 go away, go away, go away. Stay away from me. It's a very powerful Pokemon that scare me. Like that thing. That's just sad. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of what I get for wanting to go for Glycopod. Thinking, oh, I can capture it. No, I can't. Okay, how can I get out of here in, like, the best way possible? Where I'm not gonna hit anything, and I can just leave and go away. I don't want any encounters right now, I just want to go home. There, I want to evolve my Yamask, okay? Just go into this structure in the Dusty Bowl. <laughs> go away from me! This is, like, actually fear. Ah, soon. I'll take an Ultra Ball. Hello, Golurk. Oh, there's a Braviary. I should probably buy some Poké Dolls. Hello, Excadrill. Ooh, that would be a good encounter. Unfortunately, I know I can't catch that thing at all. Not even gonna try. Let's get to the staircase, we're safe. Oh, okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. That was the worst. That was absolutely the worst. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Sir, please let me in. Please let me in. I don't want to be here anymore. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leaders of Moto Stoke, including the leader of Moto Stoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. No, B, just let me leave. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural after such a humiliating defeat. There's no way you could book the champion in the eye. I'm sure, he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Champion Challenger Bead. I can confirm that you have the required badges. Anyway, I'll, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Please just let me leave. Let me leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, we're safe. I don't have to worry anymore. We're safe. It's okay. Hammerlock is pretty cool.
And luckily, we don't have to take on this gym for a while. Okay, you know what? First thing I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, just to make sure they're completely healed. And then we're buying Pokedolls. I don't care. I don't care. I never buy those, but I'm not landing in one of those Glycopod situations ever again. Yes, yes, where's the Pokedoll? Oh, I'm buying like 10 of these. What do you sell? Ooh. Dusk Balls. I can buy like 163. Hello. Oh, it's a BP shop. I don't have BP. Why is there just a random BP shop out here? Oh, no, really? 241, I can't help but looking for what number whenever I see lockers and whatnot. I think 241 might be Kingdra in the Pokedex. I can't remember though. Excuse me. Can I go this way yet? No. Man, I'm like actually sad that I lost an encounter in this episode because like I wanted to evolve that thing. Togekiss is an amazing Pokemon to use. That's like kinda sad. That's like really, like, really sad. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the whole future. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We'll need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to keep, to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Beads, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? Oh my gosh, he looked right at the screen. That's creepy. I hope you were listening, Fetch. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium, in fact. We should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Well, I think I have to go inside because, like, the dude is still blocking the way. Ah, bull guy. Everlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now have a look at this at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. I can't read that language. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it is changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olena decides to... Oleana decides to give me another earful. Actually, I suggest you head over to the vault next. 
Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Do we get to meet Raihan? Yeah! You got the perfect Pokeball. It's the level ball. Perfect for high level teams. The higher Pokemon level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Goodbye. I don't like you. <laughs> My friend loves this character. I just don't care about him. It's not that I hate him, I just don't care. <laughs> right, Leon! Fetch, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen to him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. Maybe the first time I heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle? He lost a bead. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps, but then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You gotta think on why it was he lost, though. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast him, look at the time! Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That only on it really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Fetch. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. You should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. Oh, Raihan, the second ever double battle gym. <laughs> it's an interesting concept to have a double battle gym. I think we just go this way. Hello, Raihan! Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Ah, oh, right, Fetch. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? I'll even spare you one of my League cards. Now on you go. It's the if it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Okay. Why do I have to go here? Why can't I just go around six and catch some Pokemon to make up for my loss today? Oh, it's Sonya. Oh, you're here! Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs, the two be bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and the shield that stop the disaster. The youths being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the Kingdom of Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? There's two heroes? <coughs> Hang on! The statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? What even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? 
I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I'm, I hope to see more of your wins. I can't use those! Sonya never gives me anything good. I mean, it's money, but like, I don't need money. <laughs> I've got enough money to last. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of Galar, of the Galar region's past. Suppose if we got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Fetch. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon, so go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stoan's side. Stoan side! Okay, I got the right Pokemon out, because I think we're heading towards a battle with Team Yell. Unless Hop's gonna show up first and be like, Oh, I lost, I'm so sad. What a beautiful bridge. Yeah! Okay. What a cute silicobra! Just look at those adorable eyes! It's our duty as Team Young to make sure Silicobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep. Hello there, if I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Well, of course, it'd be our pleasure. Oh, hey, Fetch. You're heading to Stillon side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fun if kids were in the challenge band. With all your stomping around, so the Cobra should wake up. Right. What do you say, Fetch? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stillon side. We'll battle them. You. Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are way too noisy, you don't want to wake up Silicobra Cobra now, do you? I'll swear, kids, these days. Well, we've got no choice. We'll have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. Cobra. Yeah! Stunky! Why is he higher level? <laughs> what is going on? She's level 30. He's level 30. What do I do? Why are they so high leveled? Ow! That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Energy Ball is special anyway. Oh, this is not good. Because I know he's got Night Slash, which is scary. Oh no! Oh, shoot! This has got to kill. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay. That was absolutely a scary battle. 
Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Can I not fight the other one? Please, please, please. Or at least hop, heal me up, please. Please. No, hop. You suck. Hop, please. I'm gonna die. Hop. I'm not okay. This is not okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, this sucks. Oh my gosh! He's just lowering my accuracy! Okay! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. So the Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. And there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make sure these bothersome kids holler some day, some other day. Fetch, you and Gerda were brilliant together. No help to you, Hop. See, B really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. Don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. We have to take some time figuring this out. See you later. See you around, Fetch. Goodbye. You are the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? <clears throat> it's Opal. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my Lee card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I don't want to see what you can do when you go all out. That's it for this episode. I'm like terrified beyond belief at this point of any future encounters, and I know it was a shorter episode, but I need to get out of here. I almost died. If that Lai Noon didn't die, I would have lost. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.